If you came looking for this video, chances are you've probably been in the same position I was in those clips. That's why I decided to put together this video, to force myself to get good, and to help you guys get good too. I need to start off by thanking Reddit user PyroSSB. He made a solid write-up which I referenced a bit for how to beat K. Roll, and I'll link that down below. And without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm starting off with this point because it's definitely one of the most important points to make. King K. Rule will feed off of people who play impatiently. I know I'm entirely guilty of this myself. My whole playstyle revolves around me relentlessly and stupidly rushing my opponent down. The thing is though, Rushdown actually seems to do pretty well against K. Rule, but if you do it haphazardly, the chance that he can punish you for it is much higher. The key is to pick and choose your rushing. Try to time it when he's stuck in the laggy animation of Blunderbuss, for example. He can have two projectiles out at a time. And while this can be frustrating, if you slow down your pace for a second and collect your thoughts, you should be able to see a pattern with the K rule you're facing. Even if there is no pattern, the character is so slow that you can pick up on what he'll be doing. Don't worry if you don't get this right away. You will as you gain more experience in the matchup. K rule size is both a blessing and a curse. He's a beach ball mixed with a crocodile with the weight of an elephant. It's kind of absurd. Thanks to his size and weight, it's very easy to combo K. Rule. A character like Luigi, or Pikachu, if he can get in on K. Rule, will destroy him with his combo game. On the other hand, since K. Rule is so heavy, and since his recovery is very good for a heavy, he lives for a long time. He's also one of the slowest characters in the game. Check out my fastest characters video linked in the description to see how he places, as well as the rest of the cast. Not only is he slow moving, but his attacks are almost all slow and laggy as well. One of the best ways to abuse this is to try and juke or fake him out. If you have successfully juked or faked him out, you can trick the K rule when throwing in a laggy move. Once he does this, you have a window of opportunity to strike. His slowness also applies to getting off the ledge. His get up attack is relatively slow, and dropping off the ledge to aerial attack is also very slow. So if you predict he'll attack coming back on stage, shield it or spot dodge and punish. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can use his crown against him. If King K. Rool fails to retrieve his crown after he throws it, after a short time it will reappear on stage. If you can grab it, you can use it to smack him around. Also, if King K. Rool walks over his crown, he will automatically pick it up. This has about a half a second of animation time, so abuse that if you can. Beware though, if King K. Rool makes initial contact with the crown using an attack, he will be able to cancel the animation of picking it up. If you Z-drop it over him while he's recovering, you could potentially get a stage spike or create your own follow-up for it. Z-dropping is done by pressing Z while holding an item. The item will fall below you, so if you're in the air, it will fall until it reaches the ground or the blast zone. You can escape from King K. Rule's down tilt as well as his down throw by mashing out of it. Getting the right mashing technique down for you is important, as it can be a difference between dying at 80 and dying at 100%. Check out Beefy Smash Dude's video linked below, as they cover all the different mash methods. I personally rotate the left stick for my mashing. Don't even bother trying to challenge this move, just don't mess with it. It has super armor, lifts him into the air, and murders everyone who comes near him. Your best bet is to just try and hit him or grab him after he lands with it. While it can be annoying and very clutch for K. Rule, his super armor has an upper limit of damage it can take, totaling at around... 28% before it breaks. To see how close it is to breaking, check his stomach cracks. If it breaks, then he'll have the same effect as a shield break done to him. This is a perfect time to get a combo started at low percents, or to get a fully charged smash attack. King K. Rule's counter isn't just a counter. It also doubles as a reflector, so be careful if you're playing a fighter with projectiles. Also beware of your own combos that aren't true. If you are comboing K. Rule, but it isn't a true combo, he may have enough time to get his counter out, and that hurts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe to keep up with all of my future content. If you made it this far, leave a like and comment below who you'd like to see next.
I'm taking suggestions, and I will be counting them up to see what character people would like to see the most. I'm thinking I may do either Incineroar War or Inkling next. I'll be gone for a bit because of Christmas, but afterwards I'll be back to uploading. I'd also like to wish you all a safe and happy holiday, and I hope to see you when I get back.